Welcome to I Lecture Online. In the previous video, my wonderful wife asked a very interesting question. How can you tell the difference when you see an equation like this, if it's an equation of a hyperbola, an equation of a circle, or an equation of an ellipse? Well, this is how you do that. You look at the x and the y square terms. Notice you have an x square and a y square, an x square and a y square, an x square and a y square. You also have an x and a y, an x and a y, an x, where am I? Oh, wait a minute, this should not be like that, this should be like this, okay, an x and a y. So, those are certainly either ellipses, circles, or hyperbolas. How can you tell that you're dealing with a hyperbola? Well, the giveaway is when the x square and the y square term do not have the same sign. This is positive, and this is negative. So because of the negative sign, and then here the positive sign, if you think of this as positive, this means you're dealing with a hyperbola. Notice we have a positive and a positive, we have a positive and a positive, so these are either ellipses or circles. Not the difference between a circle and an ellipse. Notice that in front of the x squared term, you have a 1. In front of the y squared term, you have a 1. If those two numbers are the same, they don't have to be 1. They could be 4s or 9s or whatever. It doesn't matter. But if they're the same, then you know you're dealing with a circle. Here they're both positive, but notice that those numbers in front of the x squared term and the y squared term are different. If they're different, then you're dealing with an ellipse. And that's how you can tell the difference between these equations. We know it's a hyperbola if one of those two is negative and the other one is positive. We know that we're dealing with a circle if they're both positive and they both have the same number in front. Here we know we're dealing with an ellipse if they're both positive, but the numbers in front of the x squared and y squared term are different. Now, there's no necessity to have an x and a y term. If there's no x and y terms, then we simply know that the center of the ellipse, the circle or the hyperbola, is at the origin. If there is an x or y term, like here and here, here and here, and here and here, then we know that the centers are offset. So that means the center of the ellipse, the hyperbola, and the circle are not at the center. And so very quickly, you get a feel for how this, uh, what this will look like. On top of that, you can also tell that if it's a hyperbola, and the y squared term is negative, that means that it opens sideways. If the y squared term is positive, it will open up and down. So in this case, it's a hyperbola that will open sideways. So very quickly, we can tell a lot about these, these equations by just looking at those key points. And that is how it's done. And you have your question answered. <laughs> you don't seem so excited about that one. <laughs> All right, so I think I may have one more. 